the rainbow series continues stay tuned if you want to see me create this green eye look okay so i did my face off camera we we're just going straight into the eye look <laughs> so i'm grabbing my jacqueline hill and morphe armed and gorgeous palette and i'm reaching for the color access on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna place that in my crease back and forth and when there's nothing on my brush I'm gonna do circular motions to diffuse the color more then I'm gonna deepen up the shade with the color access sorry agent using um, the same brush I want to create more dimension to the yellow and I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and then circular motions when there's nothing left on my brush Then I'm reaching for the palette Dark Magic and I'm taking the color Inside Job. It's a dark green and as you can see here, I'm showing you, I'm taking my time little at a time to build the color. You need to be patient when you're building darker colors. So little blend when there's nothing left on my brush, I'm going in and I'm blending and building until I get this color that you're seeing right here. I'm going in windshield wiper motions and I'm applying it lower than the first transition color and here I'm going back with the first transition color and the fluffy brush and I'm blending the edges out even more and to get the color more pigmented I'm applying that same color underneath my eyes and connecting it uh, to a more defined dramatic V on the outer corners of my eyes and I'm using a pencil brush so I can get very defined and precise with the shadow here I'm cutting my crease, I'm using my Colourpop concealer and a flat concealer brush and this takes time, I always say that, you need to be patient when you're cutting a crease. <laughs> so take your time and work until you like the shape you have created. I'm going back in with the colour inside job and an um, angle brush and I'm neatening that crease. That's a easy way to make it look neat if you feel like you have messed up on when you were creating it. And I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with that a pencil brush because it's smaller so it gets more precise. I uh, lost the clip with this green but you'll see it later on in the tutorial. Now I'm using some NYX glitter glue. I'm going to pack that on my eyes and I'm going to go over that glitter glue with a pigment from Colourpop named The Bow, I think. I'll list it in the description box. And I'm applying that almost, uh, more like three quarter ways of my eyes, very close to the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm applying the glitter glue and then I'm going in with the pigment. Then I'm mixing inside job with a little bit of black and I'm connecting the two, the edges, so that it's more diffused and we don't see where one begins and one ends. And this is the color. It's from Colourpop. It's called uh, Not For The Eye Area. And I swear I do have a red from Colourpop that's the same name, Not From The Eye Area. But this is just um, a nice uh, neon green. I'm just applying this to like the quarter way on my inner corners of my eyes. And I'm also bringing that to the inner corners a third in my bottom lashes and I wrap it around the whole inner corner of my eyes and connect it into that darker green. I applied some uh, Colourpop mascara to my lashes because I'm not using any lashes today and I went back with the Armed and Gorgeous palette and I'm using Gold Trip and Coin. They're two different shades of gold and I'm using that as my highlight today and yes we can use shadows as highlight. You don't have to go out and buy a highlight. So I'm applying that to my nose and my cupid's bow as well. I am lining my lip with Morphe Bite Lip Liner. I'm lining and filling my lip with that. And then I'm going in with Colourpop. Um, sorry, not Colourpop. Wet and Wild. <laughs> Peachy Keen. And then I'm going to top that off with a metallic liquid lip from same Wet and Wild named... Um, my tulips are sealed. 
I love the way they name their products. So that's a completed look, short and sweet. My second look in the Rainbow series using green. So I'll see you in my next tutorial on Wednesday. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.